Hey, what's up guys? I'm Bagsy and we are here in Germany at the home of KW and ST Suspension. Right now in house, we have my Nissan GTR and my Nissan PS13. We've just finished building the Nissan P PS13. It's our brand new competition car for Driftmasters this year. We've just been getting it ready here after the last round of uh, Driftmasters in Riga. We're now looking forward to moving on to Poland next weekend. We've made a ton of changes to the car and we're really, really, really uh, looking forward to taking it to the next event and uh, really stretching its legs. So first of all, the Nissan GTR. We built it from top to bottom at SB Motorsport back home in South End Essex. It's running a 7.4 litre LSX Chevrolet motor from Parts World Performance back home in England. It's running a huge Garrett turbo and it's running just over a bar of boost and it makes 1200 horsepower. So it's pretty insane. It's got a six speed Quaife sequential gearbox. It's running a winter's rear end supplied through Siki. Uh, it's on rotiform wheels with wheelwood brakes. And of course, it's got a Liberty Walk V1 uh, body kit, which to me, when we wanted to put a body kit on the GTR, I knew that the only one I really wanted to work with was Liberty Walk, especially with their V1 kit. Uh, to me, it's the best looking uh, body kit out there for a Nissan, for a Nissan GTR. So uh, inside the car, the doors, fully carbon, the dash carbon, and it's got a really, really cool roll cage uh, that again, we built back home at SP Motorsport. It's running AEM Electronics with their new screen and uh, one of their Infinity CUs. When we built the car, we knew it was going to be used mainly for doing a lot of demo work, um, although we still built it to do competitions if we, if we need to. In the back is a radium fuel tank and a forged radiator. We put the radiator in the back really just to move some weight um, as far back in the car as we could to try and get it a little bit more balanced. We're running ST competition suspension built here by KW. And uh, yeah, we're really, really pumped. The car's been running really cool. We've just finished a demo in Denmark. And it's been working really, really well all year. So my Nissan PS13, we literally just finished building it. We took it for a little bit of testing and then we took it to round three in Riga. Uh, and now we're moving on to round four in Poland. Um, this is basically last year's chassis uh, with a new engine, new brakes, new wheels, new design, new body kit. So basically nearly everything on the car is brand new, although we did use the chassis last year. Um, what's really, really cool about this car is it's running a parts world performance Chevrolet 7.4 litre LSX R engine, which is basically Chevrolet's drag race uh, race engine. And as far as we know, we're one of the first in Europe to have one of these. So we're really, really stoked. We redesigned it with a fast intake. Originally, these engines come with a great big Holly carburetor that sits up on top, but we wanted to get the bonnet closed. Um, so we, we swapped it all over to fuel injection, running, as I said, a, a fast inlet manifold. We had to make some pretty sweet adapters that run between the cylinder heads and the inlet manifold to allow us to actually use uh, injections the injection system and the inlet manifold it makes right now about 700 horsepower um, we're looking forward to getting it back home in the next couple of weeks and just changing one or two little things with the exhaust system and the inlet side just to squeeze that last little bit of power out of it and hopefully when we finish we should be seeing around 800 horsepower inside's pretty sweet it's pretty much just a, a standard office. It's running again, AEM Electronics. Uh, it's got an AEM Infinity ECU. Uh, again, a six speed Quaife sequential 69G gearbox, Lenzo wheels and ST competition uh, suspension built here by KW. The car again has the radiator in the back, mainly for cooling and weight distribution. We wanted to try and get a little bit more weight into the back of the car and away from the front. So we ran the radiator and the fuel tank as far back in the car as we could, just to get a little bit more, better weight distribution.